Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to change the Xbox account or Microsoft account in Forza Horizon 5 game on your computer. So when you click on sign in with different account, it does not give you any option to log in with different account. To go ahead and fix this, you can go ahead and close this. And this step is applicable for Steam version on Windows 10 and 11 both. And even if you bought the game from Microsoft Store. Now for this, first of all, you go ahead and log out from Microsoft Store and Xbox app. So if you have Xbox app on your computer, you can go ahead and open Xbox app on the top right here. You can see a profile. I can click on it. And over here, you will see the sign out option. So go ahead and sign out and also open Microsoft, Microsoft Store on your computer. And on the top right, again, you will see a profile. I can select your account, then click on sign out. Now, once you are logged on from Xbox account and uh, Microsoft Store, you can go ahead and try to launch the game once again. And it should give you an option to log in with your another Microsoft account. So over here, you, will, you should be able to see the list and you can go ahead and select the account and then click on continue and then enter your PIN or password and log in. And then you can go ahead and continue. Uh, still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and use email and account option in windows settings so go to the start menu then click on settings now click on accounts and then click on email and accounts and now under account used by other apps here you should be able to see different microsoft account so you can go ahead and select the account which is being recognized right now which you don't want so you can go ahead and select that account and then you have to go ahead and by default this option would be checked which says microsoft apps can sign me in so when this is selected actually you are facing this problem so you can go ahead and click on this drop down option and select apps need to ask me to use this account so select this option and now you can go ahead and try to launch the game and this time when you launch the game it should give you the option to select your microsoft account so you can go ahead and select the account which you want and then you can continue now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go to this location so open file explorer go to this pc then open c drive open users folder and then open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data go to view and put a check on the box which says hidden items and in windows 11 you simply you will find this view option over here Click on view select hidden items and then you should be able to see app data open app data then open the local folder now open the packages folder scroll down here you can see microsoft xbox identity provider you have to go ahead and open this folder then open the ac folder then open the token broker folder select this accounts and cache file uh, folder make a right click and then click on delete now once you delete it now you can go ahead and restart your computer and then you can go ahead and open your xbox app or steam and then try to launch the game and you should be able to see the option to select the account now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and delete the xbox live login credential for this you can go ahead and type in credential manager in the window search box and then click on credential manager now go to windows credentials scroll down at the end here you can see xbl grts device key so you might find xbl grts device key or simply xbl device key so you have to go ahead and expand xbl device key or xbl grts device key and then click on remove now once you remove it click on remove then click on yes and once this is removed you can go ahead and restart your computer once again and then after the system restart you can go ahead and try to launch the game again you should be able to see the option to select your account different account you can switch to different account now the next step is to remove the account which you don't want so if by default it's taking some other account which you don't want to use in that case you can go to the start menu then click on settings and then click on accounts email and accounts and this time you can go ahead and select the account which you don't want you can go ahead and select it then click on remove now once you remove it remove it uh, you will see this option which says are you sure you want to remove this account email and content associated with it it will it will be removed from this device 
if an organization manages this device other stored data may be removed by your organization so if you agree you can go ahead and click on yes and this will go ahead and remove this account and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game and then you should be able to see the option to switch to different account so one of the steps should definitely help you to switch to account which you want and then you can go ahead and click on continue and you can continue playing the game so you should not face any problem so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel